How you doing? Mr. DJ's back, and I guess this will be the last night I'll spend on April 14th, 1962, Billboard's Hot 100. I wish I could just count down all these Hot 100s, starting when the Hot 100 officially began in 1958. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and do a Lost 45 from Billboard's Hot 100, April 1962. Neil Sadaka, King of Clowns, at number 73, it debuted at number 100. Went up 10 to number 90, jumped 17 to number 73 the week of April 14, 1962. Listen to the beginning of this song. King of Clowns sounds a bit like Running Scared by Roy Orbison at, dun -dun 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 at the beginning of the record. Written by Howard Greenfield and Neil Sedaka. Oh my goodness, we are talking a hell of a songwriting collaboration. Breaking Up is Hard to Do, Calendar Girl. Run, Samson, Run, Little Devil, uh, Next Door to an Angel, Stairway to Heaven, all by Neil Sedaka, written by Neil Sedaka and Howard Greenfield. Howard Greenfield also wrote for Connie Francis. He wrote one of her biggest hits, uh, Everybody, Somebody's Full. He wrote that with Jack Keller. Speaking of Connie Francis, interesting, talking about, it's talking about uh, one song and then actually talking about another record. Connie Francis was looking for a follow-up to Who's Sorry Now. That was in 1958. That was her first big hit. She was like, hey, I, I, need, I need to meet some songwriters. I need a follow-up to this record. She met Howard Greenfield and Neil Sadaka. They played her. They had a stack of demos. They played her a number of beautiful ballads that they had written. When they were done, when Howard Greenfield and Neil Sadaka, when they were done playing those ballads for Connie Francis, Connie Francis looked at them and said, you know something, you guys, you write some beautiful ballads, but they're too intellectual for the younger generation, for today's generation. I'm going to have to pass on it. Then Neil Sadaka, he turned, he, he looked at Connie Francis. He said, well, hey, oh, wait a minute, hold on. Me and Howard, we wrote a song this morning. Very simple song, a catchy record. We we're gonna give it to a girl group, and Howard and Howard Greenfield. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now we promised this girl group we we're gonna give her this, give them this song. And Neil Sadaka, no, 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 no. Let let's let Connie Francis listen to this record that we wrote this morning and see what she thinks about it. They played a demo of Stupid Cupid. Connie Francis said, "This is my next hit record." <laughs> it was. It was her second biggest, well, not her biggest hit, but it went to number 14 on Billboard's Hot 100. Not a number one like Who's Sorry Now, but number 14 as a follow-up, that's pretty respectable. I had to tell that story. Well, here we go at number 73 on Billboard's Hot 100. Uh, the date of uh, April the 14th, 1962. Here's Neil Sadaka with King of Clowns. <laughs> 